Welcome to our tutorial on using the 3D Maker clone with Unity 3D. In this example we're going to show you how we used it to create our music video. Be sure to download the tool with the link below. Ok let's get started. We are going to start with the basics. Create an empty game object. Then go into your inspector and go to add components. Then look for the grid maker script. Next go to size in the grid maker script and add a 1. Now let's create a cube from the game object menu. Now we need to drag and drop our cube in the elements slot. It's time to add some numbers. Let's go to seed and add 3. Num rows and add 3. Horizontal buffer add 3. Vertical buffer to about 4.21. With this tool you can add more than one game object. Let's use a capsule. Go to the grid maker window and look under prefabs and go to size. Set the size to 3. Drag and drop the capsule into the element slot. Let's make a sphere and drag it into the element slot. As you can see you can add a number of prefabs to populate your scene really quickly. You can make adjustments in the inspector to get some variety in your shapes or prefabs. Play around with the settings in the inspector to see some really cool results. Now let's add the rotation effects script to get some cool looking animation effects. We are going to set the rotational effects to whirl. Then let's add a 1 to the Y axis. Hit play to check the results. You can play around with the settings to get some really interesting animations. As you can see the 3D Clone Maker Toolkit can do a number of awesome things with prefabs. Join our Discord and show off some of the creations you come up with. We will showcase the best user creations. Now that you've seen some of the basic things you can do with 3D Clone Maker Toolkit. Let's move on to making a quick environment. Now let's make a city with the clone tool. In the next part of the tutorial we are going to show how we made the city in the Synthwave video. Memories in Motion, by Synthwave artist A Lost Reality. This time we are going to do the same thing but with buildings. After adding your grid maker script to your game object, set the prefab size elements to about 10. Now drag and drop the game objects, in our case the buildings, into the elements slots. Set your seed to 5, num rows to 5, and adjust your horizontal buffer to 89.84. In the inspector you have a wide variety of settings to choose from to get the settings that will work with your levels or projects. You can create hundreds of buildings very quickly to populate your world. This is also good for creating for example a swarm of insects, to an army for a battle royal game. Play around with the settings to see what you come up with. Time to make our city larger. Let's make some adjustments with the vertical buffer. Set your vertical buffer to about 176.8. Now as you can see our city is much larger. Let's keep adding more buildings and see what results we get. It's time to add the randomizer script. The randomizer script will give your city or game objects some variety. Here we can adjust the scale location variation and rotational variation to fit your need for that random look so everything does not look the same in your scene. Here 
Here is another example of using the Grid Maker script to make a sidewalk. Here is an example of how I built the road at the end of the music video. You can create some pretty interesting pattern arrangements with the 3D Clone Maker Toolkit by adding some of the scripts. And then playing with the settings. Now let us show you an example of using the Grid Maker tool to make a cool spiral road. Just like the one you saw in our Synthwave music video. Thanks for checking out our tutorial on using the 3D Clone Maker Toolkit. We will have more tutorials and examples coming soon. You can download the tool to make your own creations with the link below. If you have any questions or want to show off your work, join our Discord. If you want to support us, like and subscribe for more game design news, tutorials and demos. Don't forget to leave a comment below.